Hi everyone! Welcome back to the Story Time Family. How's everyone doing? Have you read any interesting books lately? You want to leave us a comment and let us know about the books you've been reading? Thank you for taking the time out to sit down and read with us. Today we have Little People, Big Dreams, featuring Greta Thunberg by Maria Isabel Sanchez Vergara. Let's get to know Greta. Greta Thunberg. Greta was a little Swedish girl who learned from her parents to turn off the lights, not to waste water, and never throw out food. Three simple lessons for being kind to nature that most grown-ups haven't quite learned yet. She was very proud of her great-granduncle Svante, a brilliant scientist who, a hundred years before Greta was born, made an alarming discovery. The planet was warming up, and humans were the ones responsible for it. But even though adults have known this for a long time, not much has been done to change it. Every day, millions of tons of toxic gases are thrown into the air. Greta wondered what would be left of the planet when she grew up. At school, she watched a film about climate change. Most students were worried about polar bears losing their homes because of the North Pole melting. But once the film was over, everyone forgot about it. Everyone, except Greta. She felt so hopeless about the future that she stopped talking. Doctors said that she had selected mutism, and Asperger's syndrome, which meant she would only speak and pay attention to what was really important to her. Some may have thought that these were two terrible conditions, but they ended up becoming Greta's greatest powers. They helped her to stick to her promise, to do everything she could to slow down the planet's warming. Greta started by convincing her parents to give up air travel and stop eating meat, but there were dozens of other little things she could do. She knew that she couldn't stand up for something without walking the walk. She had done her homework, but it wasn't enough. To stop global warming, politicians had to do theirs too. One day, instead of going to school, Greta decided to sit quietly in front of the Swedish Parliament with a sign. Not very many people noticed her that first day. But it did bother Greta. She kept going with her strike every single Friday, and every time she got there, more and more students joined her. It was time for children to wake up the adults. Soon, all over the world, thousands of students started skipping school to protest outside of the city halls, fighting for the future of the next generation. Inspired by Greta's story, millions of people from Melbourne to San Francisco flooded the streets in the first world strike against global warming. It was the biggest environmental protest ever. She crossed the ocean on a wind and solar-powered boat to speak in front of world leaders. In the name of all children. Greta asked people in power to stop making up excuses and start acting before it's too late. What started with just one girl with a handmade sign became a movement that includes us all. Because global warming is the greatest challenge humanity will ever face, but little Greta is no longer alone. And that was. Greta Thunberg. I hope you had fun, and was inspired by Greta Thunberg. Such a brave little girl, don't you think? 
Maybe you just like her too. We all can make a difference if we come together. If you enjoyed this book and would like a copy, the links to purchase it are in the description below. Give us a like and subscribe if you haven't. And we'll see you back here soon. You take care. Bye bye. Today we have The Problem Solving Superhero by Heidi Miget. Let's have a look. The Problem Solving Superhero. There was once a boy, so young and small, when he had any need, he'd give his parents a call. His parents would come running at the speed of a jet. Whether big or small, his needs were swiftly met. Drinks were refilled, toys were put away. Who needed independence with service like this all day? When their help was delayed, there was no need to fret. He had quickly learned the pace quickened when upset. The boy grew older, but their assistance never wavered. They were there in an instant ready to help with any favor. Life was quite nice with mom and dad at his service, but one day at the park, he began to get nervous. He made a new friend and noticed her talents were many. She could slide, zip, and tie on her own. He found all this rather uncanny. Calm, cool, and confident, she managed it all on her own. In fact, her parents remained seated and let her do it all alone. She had a creative solution to rescue her ball from a tree. She practiced on the swing until she was gliding with ease. A tall water fountain was no match for this gal. She simply asked for a boost from her newfound pal. The boy was bewildered. She knew just what to do. She was oh so capable. He couldn't even tie his shoe. He wondered out loud, why are your parents not running? Don't you ask them for help? Your magic abilities are quite stunning. She smiled at the boy, ready to share her big secret. It's not magic, my friend, but you might not believe it. I have a great superpower. It helps me stay calmer. Before I ask for help from my parents, I use my problem solving powers. I wasn't born with this great gift, choked the little boy. What can I do? I want to be a problem solver. I want to be like you. My new friend, please do not fret. We only have to look inside. You see, everyone has this power. Ready to find it? Let's go for a ride. Here's what I do. Before my need for help sets in, I take a deep breath and say this out loud from within. I'm a problem-solving superhero. This I already know. If I can do this by myself, I will surely grow. If I can't do it, that's okay too. At least I gave it a try. I'll watch and learn. I'll try again. Eventually, I'll fly. You see, no capes are needed. Not even a magic wand will do. You will need belief and patience, and you can do this too. The boy was excited and ready. Let's give this new powers a shot. But when his shoe fell off, he took a pause. Could he write this new plot? He thought for a second. He counted to ten. The boy remembered his chant and was ready to dive right in. It took three tries, but he did it on his own. He found his superpower. His parents were mind blown. His mom leaned in, whispering into his dad's ear, 
We can help his powers grow too. We'll give him space and not interfere. That day was a turning point for this little boy. He was ready for anything, and that filled them all with great joy. And that was the problem solving superhero. Who knew you had superpowers too, right? We all have superpowers. All you need to do is to have faith, and believe in yourself, and you can literally do anything. Your ability is pretty much limitless. If you enjoyed this story and would like to get a copy of your own, the links are in the description below. If you haven't, do subscribe and click on the bell for more stories like this. Give us a like or leave us a comment. We always love to hear from you. Tell us about your superpower. Till we see you again, you take care of yourself and your family and have lots of fun and eat lots of delicious food. Bye-bye.